Hey guys, Moran Pober here and today I'm going to talk about how to find motivated sellers and this is part 3. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moran Pober and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. I'm here to share with you my experience. This is what I've been doing full time for the last three years. I'm here to share with you my mistakes and basically document my journey as I, I try to grow and buy more businesses. And this is uh, to be fully honest and transparent why I'm doing this channel. I know I can get better deals, um, more deals by, by doing this channel and helping you at the same time. So why not? I'm here to show you that you can buy existing business and it's going to cost you the same amount of money, if not less than it to start a new one. It's going to be much harder to start a new one. I'm also here to show you that you can buy existing business with existing management team in place where you can have someone operate the business for you so you can be the owner the shareholder someone who is in charge of the sorry for the what's up the someone who's in charge for the vision and strategy versus someone who's doing the repeatable day-to-day -day stuff and managing the business at least that's what i prefer to do i like the art of the deal i like the the, the person i like to be in charge of the strategy and the vision and have someone doing the repeatable stuff day to day um, and again, if you like the day to day, you can do that as well, but you can buy your dream business and have an income coming from day one. Um, what else? Yeah, if you have existing business, this is the best way, in my opinion, to grow existing one as well, to go and buy a different business versus going and doing more sales and marketing. And that's all. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't like yet, like the video, help me grow the channel. The more you engage with me, the more you help me grow the channel, the more you help me grow the channel, the more I'll be motivated to, to, to do those videos. So definitely comment below. Let me know if you like those videos or hate them or just tell me anything. And um, see in the description below, there's a link to the business buying uh, Facebook mastermind. It's a free group with people just like you're trying to buy businesses. Many people there already bought businesses. And there's also a link below for you to put in your details and give me ideas for, for more videos to create. Uh, I want to post daily, at least for now, so I need ideas. So definitely let me know in the description below. And that's how I decide and pick my next topics for the next video. So that's it for the introduction. Um, let's get to today's topic. Now today I'm going to talk about, again, we're going to talk about motivated sellers. And if you don't, didn't watch the other videos, go and watch them right now. I talk a lot about the strategy and the mindset that you need to have when looking for motivated sellers. Today I'm going to basically give you the understanding of why someone will sell the business, why one business, like there could be two different businesses doing the same amount of money in the same se sector, but one of those businesses, someone bought it for 10 times multiples, and one of those businesses, someone bought it for $1 down, and the rest of it was seller finance, basically using the business cash flow to finance the, the acquisition costs. So why would a deal like that would happen, and at the same time, a deal like that would happen and I'm here to tell you that the reason that those type of deals happen out there and those type of deals are basically the motivated sellers, the holy grail of this space of buying businesses is because those sellers are looking for an outcome. And that, that outcome isn't necessarily the amount of capital they're getting. They're looking for some kind of out outcome. Something happened in their family. Something happened in their business. Maybe they have they want to take, take care of their employees and that, that buyer is willing to give them that and that buyer isn't willing to give them that. So it's basically everyone got a different outcome when they sell a business. And that's why your only goal when you talk to those business owners is to figure out what is their outcome? Why are they really looking to sell their business? Are they looking to sell the business just because they care about the capital that they're going to get for the business? Or they have other hidden, I guess, things that going on and that's why they sell it. And, and to do that stuff, to figure out what are those reasons, it's all about building rapport, all about getting to know that owner, all about building trust with that owner. And it really comes down to you showing that you care about him and you care about the business. And that's why we're talking with the business owners that we're talking to. We really care about them because we don't care about changing the name on the door and destroying everything that he built. We want to keep the business the same. We just want to come in and bring in our resources, our expertise and help grow that business, help grow that band, brand and, and keep whatever he already built and just try to make it better or at least sustain it. And many buyers don't have that agenda in mind. And that's why specific sellers are afraid to sell their business if it's the wrong buyer. So remember, that business owner isn't saying yes to that money that you're offering to him. He's saying yes to what that money can do to his life, to the outcome that that capital can provide. 
And if you can show him that a different deal will provide him the same results or even sometimes better results, like keeping his perks or again, helping his employees, helping his, maybe sometimes there's a family member inside that you can help promote, but he just don't have the energy to do that. There's so many different reasons. Like there's a deal we're buying right now. The owner is, is a lady that her husband, her, her husband died a few years ago and she just looking, he, he was the person who started the business, who, who grew the business. And all she care about is someone who will sustain and keep that brand and, and heritage and that name of that um, her, her, her late husband. So when we figure that out, we know that, hey, this is the outcome that she wants and we, can, we are able to give that to her. And that's when, when she understands that we are there to help her with that and add value from that angle, she care less about the amount of capital she get. Obviously, we'll negotiate and, and negotiate already the amount of capital that we need to pay her for the deal. And we find out and we show her, look, we will make sure your outcome, we make it happen. Now let's figure out a way where both of us are winning on the capital side of things. And trust me, when you're able to give her that side of the deal, figuring out the capital amount isn't a problem. You'll find out a solution and that's what we do with her. And when you find out that those differences, they're, they're, when you understand that they care about the outcome, guys, it will make a tremendous difference in your approach to business and to buy businesses and to find motivated sellers. Like for example, there's another deal that we're working on and we are able to provide that seller a tax sufficient payment on his business versus a different buyer who is, isn't willing to help him in those terms, if that makes sense, because there's a different tax. Um, basically, if you're buying, just to give you an example of what's going on with that deal, if you're buying the business on a stock purchase versus an asset purchase, the amount of taxes that the seller will need to pay is going to be very, very different um, to this compared to that one. And we are willing and able to help him with providing him a better uh, solution or outcome in regards to taxes. And for him, it's going to make a huge difference in the, the amount that he's going to take home eventually. So even if we both, me and the competitor, we both going to offer the same amount of capital, in the end of the day, because we are able to structure the deal in a different way that the competitor isn't willing to do because they have their existing firm and for them, for whatever reason, it, it, and I can dive into it in the future, but it doesn't make sense to do that, that purchase on it in the way that we, we can do that. That's why the seller is willing to go with us because we are willing to give him the results that he actually care about, the results that he want. Obviously, in this case, it's more about giving him more money at closing after taxes. And that's a huge difference. And obviously, we wouldn't be able to understand it unless we would really dive into it and build rapport with the owner and really understand what he care about. Um, and and that's, that's so crucial, guys. And when you understand that, that it's all about the outcome of what the money can give him, that's where you can really differentiate yourself in a negotiation. You need to understand that in this space of buying businesses, it's 80% psychology as well, like everything in life. To be successful, I believe it's 80% psychology, 20% the strategy. And same goes here in the space of buying businesses. Just think about it. Those owners many times grew their businesses from scratch with many times their, their, their friends from home or people they, they work with for 10, 20 years. And by you coming in and telling them, hey, look, I'll take care of Susie that you know from second grade. I'll take care of John who was with you from the day one of starting the business and I'll make sure they're happy and we help them progress and grow and maybe even give them equity in the acquisition. They'll be so happy because they can get now, they can exit and fulfill their dream and get their lifestyle back. Maybe they're stuck in the business, but they're afraid to sell because they, they don't know what will happen with Susie or John. And when you're able to find that reason and provide them that solution, that's gonna make the, the whole difference in your negotiations with those business owners. And that's how you find someone who you thought at first isn't motivated to sell, when you're able to find the real reason for him to even thinking about selling and you're able to provide those solutions, that makes all the difference. And in order to do that, you need a great process. You need to know what questions to ask. You need to know what words to say. You need to know how to position yourself. You need to have the right system in place to get it going. Remember those business owners many times that they're running their business for 10, 20 years. They took enough money home. They don't care about the capital. I mean, yes, obviously getting more money, it's fine, it's cool, but it's not their main reason for going out of that business. They have other more important things. I'm talking about, again, the sizes of businesses we're talking about, businesses doing between one to 10 usually million in sales. 
above that between 10 15 20 million uh, or above the business is very big already um, when we're talking about hundreds of employees the owner don't have that much sensitivity around these employees and, and everyone in his brand and all that and at that stage I think at least based on my experience and what I found out is it's it's more about the capital at that stage and they care less about the the actual brand and the employees because there are just so many of them and, and they're getting to a point where just they don't even know most of their employees when we're talking about hundreds of employees but the, in those small businesses that we're talking to businesses doing between one to ten million a year in sales it's crucial it's all about the outcome and it's all about the psychology and rapport that you are able to build with them that's why it's so important to have that system and process the right process in place to figure out that that stuff that is really bugging them and why they're even open to sell and if you don't have the right process the right system i see people wasting years years trying to figure out what's the next thing they should do what sector they need to pick how to approach business owners and they're taking years to even find out what questions they need to ask the business owner how to figure out if and what they even want for the business and i'm not even talking about before they even get in front of those business owners they don't know the right systems how to position themselves how to get them in front of business owners how to pass gatekeepers and literally people are wasting so much time because they don't have the right process in place to figure out and filter through those questions and knowing what to say to those business owners in order to get to a point where you understand the exact reason that they want to sell and then when you find out that reason then you can come up with a solution that is providing uh, i guess combination of capital and uh, a solution to their problem directly so let me recap a few of those things remember guys it's all about your belief it's all about knowing how to position yourself in front of business owners it's all about how to filter yourself fast when you talk to business owners and making sure that you find out if the business owner is motivated or not by having the right systems by having the right process because otherwise you can waste a lot of time in order to find those owners and i see so many people just talking to too many business owners and they're, then they're messaging me and telling me hey uh, i feel like my sector isn't the right sector i feel like i need to move to a different sector and their sector isn't the problem it's them having the wrong system in place on filtering through and knowing what questions to ask to figure out if and why the business owner is willing or want to sell their business and how to position your offer so it basically answer all of his questions that then you can provide a solution with your offer buy his business make him happy make his employees happy make everyone happy and make it win-win for everyone and and that's how you make it going so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon hey guys moan pober here and thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please like subscribe comment below help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel the more deals i'll be able to do and the more i'll be able to give you more value so please if you didn't yet like the video right now subscribe right now and comment below on this video let me know your thoughts and also check in the description below this video there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on facebook join it right now if you're not in it yet there are amazing people in there people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation so go to the description right now also i'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and i need your help on having ideas for more topics so in the description below you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question you just fill in, fill in your personal details and i'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question so help me with that put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos do it right now after you join the, the facebook group and if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals it's mainly me and my partner Carl Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many many deals so if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners if you want access to us 24 7 i mean access to me in my skype my personal email my phone number if needed and you want us to show you a to z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners we want to do more deals and we can help you do that 
you'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers how to then find motivated sellers because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers we'll show you how to talk to those business owners how to negotiate deals with them how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal because yes you can buy a business but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios you don't want to be screwed in this space you'll then see how to get financing on your those deals and not only that we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know we will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees and obviously we have our team to do that so you won't need to even find them and we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day-to-day -day for us because unless you want to run businesses day-to-day -day because you're passionate about it we highly suggest you not to do that we can find someone to run the day-to-day -day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners in our shark tank we're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital basically going to put some equity kick into those deals so many times you know you can buy a million dollar business but you're missing 50 grand here 100,000 here and we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals those are our the best deals out there investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do and we will put the capital into some of those deals as well so if you need help with that you can apply to the program if you never bought a business before or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another one million dollar so don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners and don't get me wrong you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos some of the info i have here i literally paid multiple six figures to learn but the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like subscribe comment help me grow the channel help me buy more businesses so i can help you buy yours as well hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon